Concussions are still and really now always a hot topic in the National Football League, the NFL. The league is working to make sure or to try to make players safer during the game. In fact, they've recently fast tracked a new rule for kickoff so that this new rule will be included in the upcoming season. For more explanation on that, I'm joined now by Dr. Sally Fryer Dietz. She's the founder of Integrative Concussion Therapy in Dallas. For the last three years, she's been involved in a study working with former NFL players who are at risk for the development of CTE. So, Dr. Fryer Dietz, can can you explain for me a little bit these rule changes and 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 what they mean? Perhaps even for those of us who don't fully understand the rules and mechanics of football. Well, the new rules have to do with the kickoff, and what they're trying to do is eliminate the, well, not eliminate, but to increase uh, the high velocity hits. Uh, we found that there's more concussions suffered in the in the kickoff than at any other time of the game. And so if you can decrease that impact, theoretically, uh, you would have a lower, hopefully, uh, risk of concussions. So the science that this rule change is based upon you agree with it? You think this will make some difference? I think it's moving in the right direction. And like with everything that we study, it always takes time. You have to put a rule into effect and then you measure the statistics afterwards. And you know, last year we were at an all time high for a concussion in the NFL. So anything that they can do to help decrease that risk um, is gonna be you know, significant and moving in the right direction, I, I believe. Sure. Your research, what you've been studying, who you've been working with, uh, what what are you learning in general about CTE and this risk? Well, you know, it's not just uh, unique to football players. It's anybody who sustains a lot of impacts. And I think, you know, one of the things that we're most aware of now is that this isn't something that just happens with a couple of concussions, um, typically, but people who have a history of multiple concussions starting from when they are young kids are probably at the greatest risk. And we know that kids are more impacted than you know, professional players and, and adults. So when you start introducing impact uh, to children, I think that's where we really have to pay attention. I think the NFL is doing a good job uh, trying to protect their players. We need to increase that awareness down to our kids. Well, and that, that's always the question here, the, the tough question to ask, and I think the tough question to answer is what do we tell parents of kids, this kid who all they want to do is go out and play football, want to play soccer, want to play basketball, right? What, what do you tell them about this risk? Do you suggest to them that they just shouldn't let their kid play contact sports? No, because I think there's a lot of good things that happen from sports. I think there's a couple things you can do. Uh, one, we do need to protect kids. We want them to have good, healthy lifestyles. We want them to to play sports, but nobody wants to put the child out into a situation where they could have permanent brain damage. I mean, I think we would all agree on that. Uh, so how do you minimize that risk for them? We have to look at the rules. We have to look at, you know, what are the situations we're putting our kids into? And then also look at some preventative things, I mean, making sure that they get good baseline tests that are looking at their overall function. And if there's deficits in their peripheral vision or in how they're moving, look at shoring those up before you, you, know, you put them on the field. You're gonna have better athletes and you're gonna have safe kids that are safer. I'm running out of time, Dr. Fryer Dietz, but uh, yeah. real quick, you mentioned that, that you would like to see the NFL go even further. What do you mean by that? What else would you like to see from them? Well, I think you just need to keep looking at the game and evaluating it. Also the practices, um, you know, and the kind of, you know, hits that people are getting, I think decreasing this, the high velocity speed is a, is a great first step. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sally Fryer Deet, she's the founder of Integrative Concussion Therapy out of Dallas. She researches this every day, works with some NFL players who are at risk. Dr. Fryer Dietz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. News 3